notch they gotta move like you know it's not impressive that's not impressive um so if that's not impressive neither is the letter drafted by spacex employees denouncing elon musk's behavior uh man this guy can't catch a break man it's not like it's not like uh you know sending people to space or you know reinventing the electric vehicle or you know spending spending billions of dollars or millions of dollars on on charity and and no, it's not enough. Smoking a blunt on Joe Rogan. It's not enough. It's not enough. You know, this guy can't have any personal opinion. I don't even know what the story's about. I can only imagine it's just a bunch of people, snowflakes pissed off about, he runs around saying his opinion and stuff, and it, 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 it just gets me all worked up. Mm. I was going to so turn just, probably grope somebody or something real foul, or just like, it's nothing. Right? I, it won't be, though. It's it the won't victim's be. fault. This guy's way too smart like, for that shit. Yeah, it's the victim's yeah. fault anyway. <laughs> yeah. I feel so, like Elon Musk is the type that's like asexual. Like, he's so smart, he's like, no, I don't, I don't want to use that energy. I'm just right, gonna, right. Hold all my come in myself. An open letter to SpaceX decrying, I've never heard of that, CEO Elon Musk, recent, Elon. recent behavior has sparked open discussion among the company's employees in an internal chat system. Employees are being encouraged to sign on to the letter's suggestions, either publicly or anonymously, with the signed version of the letter <laughs> Excuse me, to be delivered to the desk of SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell. Um, I'm just going to pull out the headline right here. Elon's behavior okay. is oh. public sphere is in the public sphere is a oh. frequent source of distraction and embarrassment. So this is again just a bunch of fucking whiners, in my opinion. I, mean, I don't want to be the wealth synthesizer, the fucking billionaire fucking boy, but same time, frig off. When he actually does something that's like newsworthy, like up. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like no, negatively, there is a lot of people who are on the Twitter shit now. In the same note, I think someone's trying to sue him for basically fucking up uh, some stocks in different areas, sucking up this the shares. And it, there is more for Dogecoin. I think is the big thing. There's a group oh, okay. of people who are trying to sue him because he pushed the uh, the Doge and then side, left it. Yeah. and then, yeah, and it was all just bullshit. But that's again your own choice, your own fault, stuff. man. It's your own fault. The thing is, is that this everyone, is America, bro, everybody has been talking about the fact that. People are, there it is. So Elon Musk sued pyramid for scheme. 258 billion over alleged billion. Dogecoin pyramid scheme. Um, like, what do you expect, man? Every celebrity that's ever endorsed this, any kind of bit or any kind of, um, what's crypto? the crypto? Thank you. Uh, has been accused of building it up and then getting out, man. Everyone's doing it. Yeah, so it's, it's like called building a pipe on an asset. This? And then liquidating it. And then running. So, uh, Companies yeah. Companies do Reuters, it all the time in the fucking Reuters, stock market. Reuters is, uh, yeah. And look at, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, she went to jail. Martha. Martha. Martha, right? The prison. So, Reuters is uh, reporting that Elon Musk was sued for $258 billion on Thursday by a Dogecoin investor who accused him of running a pyramid scheme to support the cryptocurrency. In a complaint filed in federal court in Manhattan, plaintiff Keith Johnson accused M- Musk, I was going to say Mark, Musk, electric, yeah, yeah, Elon sp- Mark. of racketeering for touting Dogecoin and driving up its price, only to then let the price tumble. Does so it's not even that he got Dogecoin? out. Did he let, he let the price tumble? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess by not saying anything, right? By not talking about it anymore, then you clearly are guilty. This is what I'm saying. This is like, so then why aren't people doing this for the stock market? When somebody bullshits about a business, about how much money they're making or about their assets or how Netflix hides their numbers, you know, they're like, oh, well, this, this one got fucking 400 million views. Like, did it? Because we can't see that. Right. Yeah, we have no idea. We're putting this out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's okay. That's okay to inflate their numbers into bullshit stuff. I don't know. I I, I, I don't want to be a wealth sympathizer, but it's like. It's your own fucking choice. This is such so American, to, and I'm sure it's probably Americans who are like, "We're so um, yeah, probably we made a choice. It's, it was, it was now in it didn't Manhattan work out. Court, so yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah. Welcome to but America. That's, yeah. mm, that's the way she'd be, you know. Uh, so they uh, they wrote a letter, and we'll see how that turns out. 